university uh, has had a relationship with the creator of the show, with the creator of the series, uh, George R. R. Martin. I've got Jeremy Britt, who's an associate professor and curator here at the uh, Cushing Library and Archives. How did this relationship start with uh, Martin? Uh, well, so Martin has had a long, successful career before writing Song of Ice and Fire. So uh, he writing science fiction for 25, 30 years before that. And he used to come here as a guest of AggieCon, which is the largest student-run science fiction convention in the country. Uh, a group on campus called Sepid Variable has been running it since 1969. And they bring authors in, and Martin used to come. And he came often enough that he, he learned to like the area, he learned to like a &M. Someone told me this is where he learned to like barbecue around here. And so reason are, enough to come to Texas. Texas. Right? So um, he was here in 1986 for AggieCon once, and um, the director of special collections at the time was, had went to him and said, essentially, you know, hey, we have this really big science fiction collection. It's becoming one of the largest in the world, and we have arch archives in there, too, from different authors. Have you thought what you want to do with your papers? And no, he hadn't, actually. So several years of negotiations took place, and Martin was thinking about it. And in 1993, he, he called us special collection and said, like, okay, let's do this thing. So they uh, rented a truck and drove it out to Santa Fe, where he's lived, and yeah. hauled it back, and that's kind of... And the rest is kind of history. Oh, essentially, yes. So we're looking at a couple of characters from the most famous show on television right now, and folks that watch the show are probably uh, recognizing some of, some of the characters here. Right. Uh, and uh, but the you know the real incredible stuff is the the papers and some of the memorabilia which you guys are in a possession of. Yeah. And I drove all this way, so hopefully you're gonna let you're gonna let us see it. We're gonna move upstairs in the next hour and kind of go through some pretty cool stuff, right? That's the plan. All right, Jeremy, because I won't leave unless I get what I'm looking for. All right, guys. So here's the deal. Coming up in the next hour, uh, we're going to talk about some of the archives. We're going to see a little bit of the uh, memorabilia. Uh, is it open to the public? Last it, question. It is open to the public. There you go. We'll give you more information. If you are just a Game of Thrones super fan, you may want to make the drive up to College Station. More coming your way in the next hour, guys. Back to you in the studio.